Look at that shit. J just look at that shit. 273 stim packs. And if it's some of you are all like, but my good Ford and not independence Ford. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Ford, Ford independence is a horrible way to get stim packs. Hello, people. This is Mike Duty the second. Just thought I'd show you. God, I have more stim packs than what I've taken. My God. See, at this point in the game, you can turn in so much shit for good stuff. So I have did all I did in terms of getting money and shit in the last one. I've also gotten tons, and I mean tons, of, uh, where is it, ammo? Here it goes, electronic charge pack. So, got a lot of that shit to put away the fat man. So, anyway, uh, I was going to get the uh, charisma bobblehead, but I'm going to go to Rivet City first. I'm going to do the history part, and then I'm going to go, go do the uh, 108 thing. So, yes. Just because I, I should just get this uh, quest done right now. Just because it'll be a lot easier. I can get that pretty decent perk. In my case, it's not great. Because, as I've said, the um, I'm doing the snide responses. Which aren't exactly the best thing in the world. But, eh. So then, let's get this done with. Or started. Or, I don't know. Hello, Bannon. Welcome to Potomac. Yeah, 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 yeah. Could I ask you about the history of Rivet City? Why, I practically set this whole place up. When I got here 12 years ago, it was just a handful of dead enders squatting in a rusted out rowboat. Now I'm on the council, and with my leadership, we're the strongest settlement in the wastes. Of course, a few of those dead enders still stick around, but who'd want to leave? Has Rivet City been around for longer than 12 years? Well, yes, but it was hardly any place of importance until I arrived on the scene. That's all ancient history now. No one would ever care about it. If you insist on wasting your time on that, you could try that bartending old crone down below, Belle Bonnie. As you can see, Bullmakers, have you the seen guy me? is kind of a jackass and trying to take all the credit for everything. Which I have to admire since I'm the bad guy, so, yes. I don't know why my person likes likes to randomly go in the third person. I don't I don't fucking get it. It's stupid. All right then, no game, no glitchy. Money rudder. Bar down here. Where did that bitch go? Hey. Where the hell is she? Do you have? There you are. I'm Belle Bonnie, and this is the Muddy Rudder. I'll tell you what I tell all the fresh meat. Don't start anything down here, or I'll have Brock kick your ass. Yeah, tell that to a guy in uh, T T five one B power armor. Yeah. Probably not. What do you have? Ha! Uh, what do you have, real fast? You have no fucking Nuka Colas. I'm pissed at you. History. What, not enough shit around here already? You need to dig up more? Don't know if it ever had an official start. It's just been here forever. Stuck in the river and full of assholes. I like you. No, but I can damn sure share a bag of get the hell out of my bar. First one's on the house. Ha, huh, really? Huh, why that lying son of a bitch. He wasn't even born when I got here. Nice. Want to know this tub's history? Only person who really knows it is Pinkerton. And most think he's dead. Or gone. He's holed up in the other half of the ship. And he don't like visitors. He'll set you straight. I like how she knows where the, who the hell he is and where the hell he is. So, uh, if you can't guess it already, because you're that stupid, we have to go to Pinkerton. And my phone just dinged. An important text message, or... I do apologize, I should do the whole ending video thing, but... No, it's just a shitty text message. I get text messages that have insults and, um... Think about relationships that I get every day. Huh, that's weird. Let's have a game. Do what you want. You know what? One thing I really hate about this game is that I totally mix up the controls for Minecraft. Because for Minecraft, uh, the select button is is jump for the space button, and the E button is to uh, look at your inventory, even though this one it's a tab button. Kind of cool, I guess. That water looks fucked up. So, uh, yeah, I thought I was going to talk about this. 
Um, some of you guys might be curious as to what my... Ooh. As you can see, now that the Enclave are over there, they kind of have a barrier around there, meaning we can't just run over and get inside. Yeah. Sucks for us. Anyway, besides the point, what I was trying to say was that uh, some of you guys have been wondering if I'm going to be doing New Vegas at all. I will, just when I get a way better computer so I can run it on higher graphics and um, just overall so it cannot crash as fucking much. What are you firing at? Fuck it. And there's the garbage man. Anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, so you guys may be wondering, like I said, I'm I'm going to be doing... I haven't even played New Vegas yet. I don't even have New Vegas. Um, after I'm done with this Let's Play, I'm going to see if I can get my hands on New Vegas Ultimate Edition. Uh, I might get it off Steam, but I want to make sure that uh, I can still mod it when it's on Steam and everything will be perfectly peachy, uh, peaches and cream. So anyway... The fuck in here. Positive that his traps don't reset, so no worries. Uh -huh. There you are. Where? But they're still milers. Then. Oh. Oh. Ow. Ow. Ah. Come on. Ow. Death. Ah. Uh. All right, guys. It's enough playing with the fishes. Go talk to Pinkerton. I got stuck somehow. Yeah, if you do get stuck, try doing sneaking to get out of the way, but other than that, you're pretty fucked. Hey, a bottle cap. Yay. I'm so happy! Do you still have that big book of science? Yes, you do. Yeah, I forgot you could do this. I was watching a Let's Play of Fallout 3. Usually the skill books aren't really that big of a deal if you take them or not, so I find it odd that all of a sudden it's a fucking problem. What yeah. else is there to take? Tons of it. My god, you are all. Ooh, Dean's Electronics. Ah! Wait, no, that's repair. I don't give a shit about that. Hey. Just stealing shit. Very nice, very nice indeed. What are you so pissed about, Sharon? It's not like you're doing anything you weren't trained to do. Yeah, fuck those sensor modules. I'm not going to waste the time. Stealth Boy, uh, Big Book of Science, which I will use right now. Just save my ass for, uh... You count the one from yesterday for, uh, stim packs, which is very nice. You guys, it'll probably Hello? be way different. Another Stealth Boy, oh my god. Is that really necessary? Yes. Dog meat, I swear to God. Alright then. We can talk to him now. Get the fuck out of the way, dog meat. I swear to God. Hey. I'm gonna kill you. Stay sharp. They're everywhere. What do you know about the co Yeah, what do you know about the Commonwealth? Most of it's blasted nothing, just like here. But there's talk, rumors mostly, about a place called... The Institute. That's where Zimmer and that android came from. God knows what else they got going on in there, but it puts our tech to shame, that's for damn sure. So that's all it? Oh. Yeah, so why'd you help the android? Ha! <laughs> why do you think? I wanted to crack open that Commonwealth can opener to see what was inside. There's stuff in there I'd only heard about, and even then I didn't believe it. I can see why that Zimmer feller wanted him back so bad. Huh. Yes, like I said, you can do facial reconstruction with uh, yourself, meaning you can change your character and how you look, which is very nice. I do like how the game lets you redo that, in case you, for some reason, you weren't satisfied. Tell me about the city's history. What? 
I have better things to do than yak about those backstabbers up topside. Now get going. I hear the city's only true. I hear you're the only one who knows the city's truth, but... Yeah. Ha. Sounds like you've been poking around, all right. I'm surprised any of those reprobates even remember me. Maybe they still laugh about how they edged me out of the council back then. But you can set the record straight. Yeah, set it, set it exactly. You have to go all the way back to when remnants of the Naval Research Institute cleared the Meyer Lurks off this wreck about 40 years ago. We were looking for new lab space, and this bucket of bolts just happened to have a well-preserved science bay on it. Everything else just grew up around that lab once we got it up and running. The science team was led by one H. Pinkerton. So you used to be in charge. How'd you end up in here? That lasted until about 18 years ago, when those ambitious backbiters like Lee and her little team showed up. She came in with her big purity project pipe dream, and my whole staff started working with her, those traitors. She even took my seat on the council. By then, I was glad to leave it behind. But hell if I'm leaving the city I made great. Uh, what do you know about Project Fury? Who cares? It's some hydroponics pipe dream that Lee's been working on forever. Waste of time and effort, I say. Apparently, though, my teams cared more about it than they did about little things like defense systems or making this ship float again. Treacherous bastards, all of them. I could see that. Of course I do. A good scientist always keeps track of their data. Nice. Here. They probably don't even remember, but I kept the records of that first council meeting. Take them if it'll put them in their place. Sweet. All right, then. Don't let your guard down. No problem. So then, we've done the optional now. Yay! All right, then. Get the hell out of here. Go see Moira again. Then we can go to Vault 108. Get that Charisma Bobble Head. By the way, the only reason we have the location of that damn thing is because, um, we did the, we talked to, um, the one guy. I forget his name already. Uh, god, how can I? Scribe Rothschild, that's what it was. Yeah, because we talked to him, and he showed us the location of Vault 87, or at least a little lamplight. We now can do, uh, we now have locations of all vaults, but do help. Especially if you're trying to get the bobbleheads. Uh, I think there's like two or three bobbleheads in some of the vaults. Don't exactly remember all of them. Because I know there's one in Vault 101, which you have to get in the beginning of the game, or at another point, which I should actually do soon. I can actually do it now, it's not that fucking hard at all. Uh, you down here, Moira? Please tell me you're down here. How's it going? Uh, of course not. Oh. Bitch. Oh, let's talk to this guy, he's funny. That's Hedge Hood! Civilian on deck. So what are you, the guard dog? I am Cerberus. It is my solemn duty to guard the citizens of Underworld against any and all threats, both foreign and domestic. So yes, I'm the guard dog. <laughs> what can you tell me about uh, Underworld? This is a town full of peace-loving ghouls, so check your bigotry at the door. They're just like humans. They feel, they hurt. They bleed. They're assholes. They deserve the same love and respect as any human, and don't you forget it. At least that's what they programmed me to say. <laughs> Personally, I think they're a bunch of rotting zombie maggot farms, and I'd send them all back to hell if I could. Damn this combat inhibitor! Life sucks, doesn't it? You ever go outside Cerberus into the wasteland? Negatory! I have been programmed to remain on premises at all times. In the event of hostilities, I will respond with deadly force. Go, Underworld! Go, ghouls! Eh! Damn this pansy zombie programming. Ha 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 ha. Sucks for you. Closing dialogue system. Evening. Ah oh, yes, that's Mr. Gutsy for ya. Or Cerberus. 
Oh yeah, I was talking to the one lady inside of there, and she gave me a book that helped me increase my speech. Any luck finding out how re- The remains of an ancient underwater civilization. After a lot of searching, I've got to the real history. Yeah. Aha! Not just as easy as asking around, was it? Good information takes real work to uncover after all. I just went underwater. So, tell me all about- Yes. Uh, oh, we do have a lot of- It became a research station, which is why it's still Scientific Haven. They cleared out the Meyer Lurks, the science folk, and the rest moved in. Ah! I pushed the wrong button. Some old coot says he took these notes. They seem to be reasonable. Well, this data looks legitimate. An outgrowth of a science station, huh? Hmm. Just goes to show what I always say about cleverness. A bit of smarts leads to a big reward, huh? Speaking of which, in thanks, have a few of these. For the next time, you've got to be quick on your wits. You're giving me mentats, aren't oh, you? and I'll let the Rivet City traders know they'll be favorably mentioned in the book. You'll get a discount buying gear from them in the future. I don't think you do, to be quite honest. Yep, Mantans. Reading continue last chapter. Also, there used to be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that'll don't give a shit. Uh, see... I'll do that one last. Cause I don't know why, I just like doing that one last, but when we go there, oh boy. We're gonna get some caps. Use all technology sounds good. It does, doesn't it? I mostly just deal with it after it's junked. But a trader gave me this Robco processor widget. He said it's worth a fortune. He lied to you. According to him, if it's connected to the mainframe in the Robco factory, you could have access to all the robots you'd ever want. Now that would be a great example of how to harness technology, wouldn't it? Just go in, connect the widget to the mainframe? I can do that. Yeah, you should just be able to plug it into the mainframe at the Robco production facility. It'll give you access to the robots and terminals. Okay, here. And be sure to keep an eye peeled for any other examples of how to make old technology work for you out there. I have to go now? Okay. Smell that. No, you might... You're odd. Anyway. Sorry, that just, like, caught me by surprise. Anyway. Uh, if you're wondering where Robo is, it is right near Tenpenny. You can literally see it from your suite. Or, somewhere around your suite. Actually, I think it's in front of Tenpenny's place. More than your suite. Either way, it doesn't matter. Not going there yet, but here it is, the Roboco facility. Everybody tower, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just kind of funny. All right then, so what? Again? Canterbury Commons. I'm going there in the future for a quest. I could run by there real fast when I go to the Temple of the Union. Funny enough, we went here as a starting point for uh, the agility bobblehead that we got. Now after this one, we will be that much closer. What the hell? Oh, there's a ramen inside of that. Something. What the hell's inside of there? We killed everything. Cause being evil is just that damn fun. Anyway, I'd wait to a certain point. Yeah, I would wait so we can get light in the day. But I did sleep for a long time, so I get the well rested for extra experience. Cause I don't mind about experience now. I can get all of it right now set up everything just fine. Which would be nice. Got a lot of perks I'd like to get. Does it look like anything bad out in the wasteland just yet? Is that already Canterbury Commons? Wow. Anyway. Actually, fun fact, Canterbury Commons is where Moira, Moira was born. Which, looking at what we're gonna see there, a lot of the freaks, per se, uh, it'll make sense. There you are. I was waiting for somebody bad. Ah, uh, you did. Another giant red scorpion. Hey, where? You just have to do things the hard way, don't you? Gotcha. This thing is just fucking perfect. It's a great weapon to have. If it weren't for the fact you can only fire it once, it'd be a problem. Though if you do have the weapon mod kit mod installed, which is only a mod, so it has to be for only PC version. Ha! Take that, console users. Fuck off. PC sucks. Yeah, PC sucks, which is why it actually can make the ghost rifle ten times more useful than it usually is. Thanks. But, uh, you can actually add an extra round to it, so you can fire two rounds at once, and it is really nice. 
I've never done it, but I did see a 